Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing my December favorites and this is going to be a long one because I have been loving so, so much this month. So I'm really excited to just sit down and talk to you guys about it. So let's just jump right into it so I don't waste your time because we're going to be here for a hot minute. I don't know what I'm doing. No, I don't. Somebody help me. So as always with my favorites, I'm going to start with things that aren't makeup related but beauty related and then work my way down to the fails, which I sometimes do fails, I sometimes don't, but today we got fails, so we're going to talk about it. The first thing I want to talk to you guys about my eyes, not the makeup, but the color of my actual eyes. Desio contacts. I've done a whole video dedicated on these, the Attitude Collection and the Rebel Grey contacts. I will leave that link down below. Love these contacts so much. When I first started my channel, they were like all the rage. And not so many people talk about them anymore. And I finally was able to review them through Octoly and loved them so, so much. The Attitude Collection is actually a lot cheaper. They're one-a-day contacts, so they you do run out of them quicker than you would with the more expensive ones that are not one-a-days. But I love them because they allow me to try them for a little while, see if I like the color, and then I can choose from different colors. And then I ended up getting the Honey ones this time around and I I love them so much so much I think that these are the ones that I do want to continue to get I love the rebel gray ones you guys have seen those but these ones they're a little bit more natural on me but they give me exactly what I'm looking for and it comes with this little booklet where you can pick your natural eye color which mine is brown right here and then it shows you all four of the contacts and what your eyes will look like these are the number one contacts I've ever used that actually cancel out every single bit of the brown in my eyes. So if that's something that you're looking for, Desio, you guys. And they have contacts for astigmatisms. They have contacts for anything. Any kind of prescription. It, literally anything you're looking for, they have it. So they've just been a joy to work with this month. I've loved everything that I've received from them. I'm going to be purchasing myself some more off the site because I got to have these in my life 24-7. So I will leave that link down below. Hi guys, so I totally forgot to add these to my favorites video, and these are from OPI. I got them from Octoly to review. You guys have been seeing the manicures on my Instagram this month. These are by far the coolest nail polishes ever from OPI. This one is in Glow the Extra Mile, which this is more of a two-coat polish, but gorgeous when it's done. And then this one, Silver on Ice, this is my absolute favorite nail polish of life this is like a chrome silver and man does it look good on the nails so these were my two favorite and of course right now I'm wearing um OPI Suzy without a paddle that I also got from OPI through Octoly their polishes are so good so good so I will leave the link down below for you guys highly recommend getting these especially around the new year's this one oh you'll be so happy with me the next items are from Sol de Janeiro, if I'm saying that correctly. I finally got my Bum Bum Cream back because I was able to review a holiday set of this through Octoly. Octoly is my jam. That's another favorite this month. Huge, huge favorite. Octoly is like the only reason why I get products like this, so high five to them. So I got my Bum Bum Cream back, which I absolutely love. I love that so much. I don't want to go without it. And then my friend Chanel, because she loves me, she bought me the, what is this called? The Brazilian Crush. I was going to just call it the Bum Bum Spray. Why not? But this is the Body Fragrance Mist. This smells exactly like the cream. It's like these two. I get out of the shower, use these two. Oh, it smells like heaven. Like I'm on a beach when I haven't been in years. The next thing is from Estee Lauder, another item that I got from Octoly to review. This I haven't even had it that long, and I will never go without this. I told you guys I was looking for something that was just as good as the Shiseido. Me and my husband are willing to pay a little bit extra for cleansers if they work. And the only one that we've been able to find was the Shiseido Pureness Cleansing Foam, and that's discontinued. So it broke our hearts, believe me. So I've been trying to find all different kinds of cleansers, and I just really haven't found anything that's there for us until this. This, you don't even need that much. It doesn't even look like I've used that much. But you, it's a foam. It's a liquid foam. And it smells so good. So good. But not that, like, fancy fragrance that you get in, like, Elizabeth Arden items and stuff like that. It can be very overwhelming. It's not like that. This is a, it's a powerful scent, but it's soft. And it's just so good. It cleanses so good. I know that some foams can really be crappy with making your face actually feel clean. 
this doesn't do that and it leaves your skin feeling so moisturized but also so incredibly clean and not oily i would i would more recommend this even though it says for all skin types I would more recommend it for oily or combination people because I think that dry skin people may find this a little bit too drying for them because my face was like squeaky clean. But I mean if you use your skincare and then do your moisturizer afterwards it doesn't matter. So this is a huge huge new love. I would highly recommend this. And the next one, Vici if I'm saying that one right. This is their Mineral 89. Um, I just totally got distracted. Sorry. Let's move on. This is a Vici Mineral 89, and I actually got this from, where did I get this? Um, WeLoveMakeup.com. They, they send me stuff every now and then, and they sent me this along with something else I'll talk to you guys about in a little bit. Amazing products. This is such an amazing serum. This has helped me with my eczema on my face so much that I just, I want to kiss it. And the great thing about this is it's not that much money. It's under $30, which a lot of high-end, like, like these kind of brands of skincare items are horribly expensive there's just there's no buying it unless you're very wealthy but this this is something that i can continue to purchase so i'm very very happy about this it's a beautiful bottle gorgeous gorgeous bottle and as you can tell i've been using the crap out of it and you don't need very much of this it just sinks right in it sinks right in and it makes my skin feel very plump not greasy or oily at all this is just my kind of product now I want to talk about some brushes and sponges that I've been loving this month. The first one is this sponge right here, which has a very dirty booty. This is the only con about this is I can't seem to get it clean, but it is a pale pink, so that's probably comes with the territory of the color of it. But this is the AOA sponge. This is on shopmissa.com, which is a dollar site. A lot of their stuff is just one dollar. Whole bunch of really great stuff on there that you you'll fall in love with. This I got, this is a little bit more than a dollar, I think it's a dollar fifty or something like that because proceeds go to an animal shelter or something to help animals. So I got this, it is so good, so good. For a dollar sponge, it blew my mind. So I'm just waiting for Shop Miss A to come out with more stuff that I want so I can order like ten of these. Alright, now some brushes that I have been loving. You guys know I'm going to talk about these Delium Tools Golden Triangle brushes. Ugh. They're so amazing and there are so many in the line. Even though for Delium Tools, I think that this is their more expensive brush line. But so worth it. Not only do they look gorgeous, you guys. These are some very aesthetically pleasing brushes. They actually are, the handles are triangle shaped. So they're very easy to grab a hold of. They have a nice weight. So they're easy to put makeup on with. They're kind of like those pencil grips that you had as a kid that helped you write that's the shape of these they work so fantastically they are so soft they're synthetic cruelty free i mean these are magical and i wanted to talk to you guys and show you my favorite out of the phase two that i got because they have bundles which are phases and i believe they're 140 a piece or they have singular ones where you can buy them all separately and I also do have a code for, I believe, 15% off Delium Tools site. So I will leave that down below. It is not affiliated. It's just for you guys. So the first one is here, the tapered contour. I don't use this as a tapered contour. I use it as setting my under eye or sweeping away fallout. This is a godsend because it's so soft. It sweeps everything away without any residue left behind. So that huge favorite. Then we have the Delium Tools, of course, pencil brush. It's just a pencil brush. I washed it. Some of these I just used so they're dirty, but I washed this. This is fantastic underneath the eye. I love that so much. Kind of blew all of my other pencil brushes that I had out of the water because it's so dense yet so soft. And then we have the tapered powder brush. This is exactly what I use it for. And I'll also use it to sweep away, you know, if I have any fallout as well because it's tapered. But for the most part, I use this like for finishing powders and oh, it just feels so soft I never want to stop rubbing it on my face. And then this one is kind of vital for how I've been doing my eye looks lately. This is the 776 Blending and it's green because it, you know, I used it today but it is actually white. <laughs> but this is such an amazing blender for like the outer V of your eye or even trying to blend your transition into any other colors you put on your lid. This is perfect. Once again, dense but so soft that it just, it works on like anything else I have. And then, of course, just the normal, this is like their normal tapered blender, I believe. Yes, a tapered blender. This is the 785. This is just, I love all blending brushes. All of them. And then lastly, the precision blusher. This is how I put my blush on now every single day. I don't use anything else. It blew my Morphe brush out of the water. Like, bye, Morphe, bye. 
I love this so much. It's, once again, densely packed but loose up at the top, so it's very precise where you want to put your blush. I like that because I can kind of get crazy with a cheese whiz with blush. We all know Nikki likes her blush. So this helps me get it where it needs to be without just going crazy. So this one's in and the Morphe brush, you can't sit with us, girl. And the last brush that I just, if you guys have noticed how I've been doing my eyes lately, there's a certain way that I do this and I cannot do it without this brush. This brush has been the reason why I've been able to do these kinds of looks and just kind of gone outside of my box and comfort zone with my makeup looks. This is from Makeup Forever. This is their 226 straight brush. This is one of the best brushes I've ever used. This line is some of the best brushes I've ever used. They are better than the Delium Tools brushes. It's just they are so expensive. I think that this little little eyeshadow brush is $25 or $26. But if you can afford it, do it. Especially if you have hooded eyes and you need to kind of create your lid space up more like Nikki Tutorials or how I've been doing this. This will save your life. It's The bristles, they almost feel like they're oiled down or like they're wet when they're not. And it keeps everything together. There's no loose bristles. And it just helps you draw out a line. I mean, this is... This is my love. So if it's something that you've been looking for that you need, I will leave the link down below. I highly recommend having this in your collection. Now when it comes to primers, I have been loving glowy primers. And these two primers have been everything to me. I love them so much. The first one being from Amazing Cosmetics. These, these I think both of them. I almost stuttered. I, oh, I almost stuttered. It was that close. I believe both of these you can get at Ulta. But the Amazing Cosmetics is an illuminating primer and highlighter, and this one is in Glow. This one is amazing, and what started the whole I want glowy primers, because I have oily skin, so I was always like, I'm not going anywhere near glowy primers. They're going to just make everything ten times worse. But it doesn't. It really, really doesn't. And even if you use a matte foundation on top of this, you, you will love how it turns out, how it just makes your skin look lit up, like glowing. It's just, it's awesome. And then as most of you know, the Becca Backlighting Priming Filter, Backlight Priming Filter, let's just, let's just double check. The Backlight Priming Filter, there we go. I have used this so much, you can see this, I've used this so much. And this is going to be one of those products that I'm probably going to get to almost right here and then stop using because I'm going to be terrified of running out of it. Just saying. Now for foundations, I have three. I have three that just this month they have blown me away. The first one, along with that Vici Serum, this came with it. This is a Dermablend Flawless Creator. These are multi-use liquid pigments. Now I don't know what the whole multi-use means, but I know that I use this for, I mix it with foundations that are too light because it's a little bit tad too dark for me. And this is, the coverage on this, holy cow. The coverage on this is amazing. So anything that I've added this to has just made my face, my skin, everything look so good. So I would highly recommend these. Not a lot of people talk about Dermablend. I know that they're quite expensive, but their products are really worth it. The next one here from Becca, this is the Ultimate Coverage Foundation. Holy cow. Holy cow. I thought that the Urban Decay All Nighter was full coverage. Like, whoa. This 10 times worse. It was kind of hard to find my shade. I do have two of these of different colors that I mixed together and found my perfect shade, but this, <laughs> I don't ever, ever want to go without that. And then lastly from Lancome, this is the Tint Adol, Adol foundation. I know I'm not saying that right, but this is a stick one and it's got sunscreen in it. 21, SPF 21, that's not bad. And it doesn't make me oily. Usually foundations that have SPF in them ruin my face, ruin them. This is so good so good. Now the coverage is about a light to medium with the stick foundation, but for some reason I love it. It makes like when I'm just trying to go out the door, I want to wear makeup but not too much makeup. This is what I use. I've actually used this most of the month than the other two. The powder that I've been loving this month is also from Becca. Becca's been so kind to me on Octoly. They've really sent me a lot of stuff and I'm just, I'm very, very happy with it all. I just, I'm very excited that I can work with high-end brands through Octoly, but this is their Soft Light Blurring Powder in Pink Haze. This is a pink powder, straight up like baby doll pink. 
<laughs> and I was like, I don't know if this is going to work out, but I use this and wow. Now I use this everywhere that I highlight my face with concealer and man, it doesn't come off pink on the face, but it really livens your face up and brightens. I mean, this is a severely brightening powder. I think that it would probably be comparable to the Laura Mercier brightening powder as well. Only this is probably a little bit more brightening because of the light pink color. I don't know how this would fare on different skin tones, to be honest. Um, I've never tried it, never seen it on different skin tones. But I know for me and my skin tone, this is the best powder I've ever used. It's very finely milled. It doesn't, it doesn't have a cast, you know. I've obviously been on video a lot and taken a lot of pictures. Nothing. It's so soft. I just, I love it. I love it and this is something that I will repurchase. Alright, now if you're still with me you are like the ultimate BBB fam. Thank you very much. Um, I want to move on to eyeshadow palettes and there are actually a lot. So, well, just palettes in general. So I'm going to go through this quite quickly. <laughs> so we don't grow old and die. The first one is from Laura Geller. This is the Hollywood Blushing Baked Trio. You guys, this is my everything. I haven't used much other than this, <laughs> this whole month. I mean, the beginning was like the Tarte Blush Bazaar. I still, that's still... <sighs> But this, Laura Geller's blushes do something to me. They have glitter in them. And not chunky glitter, but like a fine shimmer. There's something about them. And this isn't the only blushes that I have. I have other ones from them too in single pans. They are so amazing. I want every single one. I just, I love them. I love them so much. They make your face just look so healthy. And they're a buildable pigment. So I, I oh. Then we have the Tartlet Toasted, which Chanel got me. Girl, she spoils me. This palette is every warm tone lover's dream, which I'm a warm tone girl. So this is something that I had to have in my collection. There was no if and buts. Um, this is an amazing palette. I did review it on my blog. If you guys want to check that out, I'll leave the link down below. Then we have the Tarte Clay Play Volume 1. I'm also getting the Volume 2. Not at the moment. <laughs> Not at the moment, but maybe in a few weeks I'm going to get the Volume 2. This is all about contouring. Your eyes, your brows, your face, anything. This is all about contouring. It comes with amazing, amazing shades. This that you can't really see too well because it's gold and it glares off everything, but these are some of the best Tarte shades I've ever used. A lot of them are usually very dry and patchy, and this isn't the case with these. These are very creamy and blendable. This is also a palette that I reviewed on my blog if you want to check it out. Now, the Volume 2 comes with highlighters and blushes and shimmer shadows, so that's... They just obviously go together, and I don't want them to be lonely. Then we have da -da -da -da, the palette that I can't keep my freaking hands off from. I know, it's getting really bad at this point. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold. Oh, the packaging, it just gets me. The inside, it gets me. This is what I used on my eyes today. I got a little help from the Jaclyn Hill palette, but for the most part, I use this palette. That gold is what's on my eyes. Oh, melt me. This is a palette that I think everyone should have. As long as you actually use shimmers, if you're an all matte person, then no, you're obviously going to be like, screw you. But if you use shimmers at all, at all, ever, have this palette. You'll thank me. And then lastly, we have the Aphrodite palette. And this is from Shop Hush. This, I believe, is a $10 palette. It might be $12, but this is, <laughs> this is a dupe for a Huda Beauty. Huda? Huda? If I'm saying that right. Huda Beauty palette. I, I know I'm saying it wrong, but you guys know what I mean. And I have also the Athena palette, which is also another dupe. And these are beyond amazing palettes. Beyond amazing. I mean, Shop Hush has like $10 dupe palettes for a ton of high-end palettes. So if you are a lot like me and can't afford a lot of high-end palettes, but you really want to try the colors and, you know, have somewhat good of quality when you, you find the dupe for it, Shop Hush, you guys. And this is sold out a lot. A lot of their popular, especially now with a ton of influencers doing these kind of videos on them, they're sold out, but they do restock every few weeks. So sign up. I also have a code where you can get 10% off that is affiliated. It is. But you also get 10% off already cheap prices. So hell yeah. 
All right, you guys, and we're almost done with favorites and can move on to fails. The first one here I've been loving, and this is my red lip, and this is from NARS. This is like the only NARS thing I actually own. This is their Lip Pigment in Star Woman. It's a little deluxe size sample, but this red, that's the red that I used with that silver eye look that I did, that New Year's Eve glam tutorial that I did. This is the red I used. I wouldn't mind getting like a pink in that because that's, that's awesome. I really like that. And then I've been really into nudes. If I'm not doing the red, I've kind of been doing like a pinky, just nude look. So I found Solace in this MAC lipstick. And this is part of the Mariah Carey collection. So I'm sorry, you probably can't get it unless you pay an arm and a leg off eBay. But this is in Darling. And it's just a very kind of like pale pinky nude. And this is what I top nudes that are a little bit too dark for me with. And then I have the Tardiest, I keep calling it Tardiest, it's Tardiest, Tardiest Lip Paints, and this is in Birthday Suit, which I'm wearing this along with something else on top of it. I love this. I like the lip paints. I've heard people say they don't like them. I like them. And then we have the YSL, and this lipstick is in 10, and I know that's in Beige Tribute, I believe that's what it's called. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. This mixed with the MAC, oh, these two, beautiful married couple. That's what they are. All right, now I want to talk about some fails. I mean, I've been trying out a lot of new products this month, and so, of course, there is going to be bad with the good. So the first thing here are these Tartus, I believe that they're Tartus eyelashes. It's from Tarte. It came in that little kit that I bought. Um, and this is the Tarte Tartus Pro Lash Glue. These two here were such a disappointment. First, the eyelashes are very very stiff and hard to bend, hard to actually form to your eye. They kept lifting up no matter what I did. And they were very pokey and uncomfortable to wear, even when I kind of chopped them down a little bit to fit my eye. These were one of the worst next to the Pure Cosmetics eyelashes. Those were some of the worst eyelashes I've ever personally tried. But I know some people who love them and they also love the Pure eyelashes. So maybe I'm just not good with those types of eyelashes. Now this glue... This will be the best eyelash glue you will ever use when it comes to stickiness and keeping the eyelash on your eye. This is the number one that I've tried. However, this is a black glue. You put it on, you're all, oh, oh, this is a great lash glue. Ah, this is so good. I'm never going without it because it's only like 10 bucks for the full tube. This isn't the full tube, I believe. It better not be. But anyway, you get all excited and then you go to take your eyelashes off at the end of the night. And the glue won't come off. It will not come off. It's like wet tar on your eyelashes. I tried everything. And if you don't believe me, ask Samantha March. Because she went through the same problem using this. Oils. Makeup remover wipes. Washing your face with all different kinds of face wash. Literally trying anything. I tried this oil that was for um, waterproof makeup. Didn't touch it. It took three weeks and a lot of my eyelashes gone for me to get this off my eyes. I would not recommend it at all. And then we have the Elemis. Now I know that I showed you guys on Snap that Elemis sent me a pretty nice package and I haven't really talked about them since because I'm always reviewing so much skincare that I really want to take things slow and test things properly. So I was trying this. I decided it was time to try this out. This is their White Flowers Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. This is not for me. This is not for me. For one, this is extremely oily to the fact where even when I used very, very warm water, I could not get the oil off my face. It made my vision, and it says that it's eye and lip makeup remover. I used it for my eye, and it made my eye vision so cloudy that I was scared I was going to go blind. Like, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Um, I, I just, I don't know. I don't like it. And it's way too expensive for all that, that crap. And then lastly, we have this Glam Glow Pout Mud. I got this recently in a glossy box, um, special edition holiday box. This, I kept this. I was going to pass it on because I don't care for Glam Glow. I think that they're a gimmick. I think that they're just out there super expensive when you can find dupes for like $50 cheaper kind of company. <laughs> YouTube hyped up that shouldn't be kind of stuff. I'm not into glitter face masks, okay? I love face masks, but you're not getting me with glitter face masks. Okay, anyway, this is supposed to be a wet lip balm treatment. Now, I open this up. It's like a blood red kind of chunky paste. And I put it on my lips. It was disgusting. 
disgusting. I don't, there wasn't even really any directions on the box or the packaging. So I figured I'd rub it on, leave it on for a little while and take it off. And that's exactly what I did. For one, the color on it is gross and patchy and slugly looking. Slugly, that's a new word. It didn't feel good going on. It just felt like I had really nasty stuff on my lips. It was uncomfortable to wear. And then when I took this off, my lips were so dry that they split. I had three splits on the bottom of my lip. I was so mad after using this that I, no, no. Glam Glow is not for me. That is everything that I have been loving and just things that just did not work out for me this month in December. There's a lot of stuff, you guys. If you missed anything or you want to find anything that I talked about, I will leave everything listed and linked down below for you guys. This, this description box is going to take me hours. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was somewhat informative for you. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to comment and let me know what your guys' favorites are because I have a list. And when you guys tell me I need something, I write it down. I hope I see you in my next one. Bye, guys.